Um, and I'm going to talk to you about, um, you know, GI uh, and GI nutrition are loves of mine, and I've been uh, interested in them since I came out in practice, and have been working with um, GI patients for many, many years. And you have to realize, most of what I do, however, is uh, work with patients who are on nutrition support, which means they usually have a tube somewhere uh, to provide their nutrition. Um, and uh, so when they come to me where I'm at, at the University of Virginia, they've often tried many, many uh, things to uh, nutritionally to see if they can uh, meet their needs. Is it? Um, and, but, but because there's a paucity of information regarding uh, GI, uh, GI nutrition, um, I'm going to share with you sort of what I've put together, much of which um, I have learned in working with patients um, because there's so little in the literature that we have available to us. Um, when I meet a patient, one of the first things I, I do uh, is to assess their nutritional status because there are some patients who come to us who may not uh, have tried much in the way of um, intervention, nutrition intervention, but there are some who have, are way down the path and have lost um, a lot of weight. And it helps us decide whether we need to really intervene now with nutrition support versus we have some time to perhaps do some studies, do some met, perhaps medication trials, um, and they can wait a little while longer. So, but we need to dis distinguish these patients. So first of all, you know, I need to know what has been done in the past. What have they tried already? So obviously someone who is, for, for example, eating very large meals, maybe high fat meals, and, it, you know, and it hasn't tried perhaps smaller meals, or one who has a lot of allergies, you know, I, I'm going to distinguish those from someone who can't keep down clear liquids, sodas or juices or things like that. I also need to know what kind of new, uh, dentition they have. Um, I saw a patient in clinic this past week with gastroparesis, and their dentition has suffered so because any of you in the audience who have gastroparesis, the dentist isn't first on your list of who you're going to go see you know, because you're spending so much time with the doctor or on your couch at home, the dentist takes it, you know, it, it is the last person you're going to worry about. And so sometimes the, 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 the dentition is very, very poor. And if patients who, for example, have poor stomach emptying, um, one of the functions of the stomach is to break our food down into small, small portions. 